Number 10, Ghost Jail. A YouTuber named Junked Up Kitten and his friends are exploring an old county jail. They take a video camera with them so that they can make a parody of the Ghost Hunters television series. Little did the small group know that on this night they would accidentally capture actual evidence of real ghosts. Junked Up Kitten wanders around the property with the camera close to his face while narrating. He passes by an ordinary looking jail cell window and doesn't think much of it at the time. When he goes back to review the footage later, he makes a startling discovery in the window. It looks like his parody show has turned out to be the real thing. From the other side of the glass, the colorless reflection of a man's face stares at him. You can clearly see the outline of the ghost's brow, nose, and empty eyes. His head is cocked to the right, almost as if he is sizing up a newcomer. His mouth appears to be a thin, expressionless line. If anything, the ghost has incredible timing. Right when Junked Up Kitten says that he is looking for evidence of ghosts, one just happens to show up in the window. It's almost as if the ghost was trying to make its presence known. Perhaps it was even trying to get a hold of someone who could free it from its miserable cell. Number 9. Restaurant Spooks most people think of houses, hospitals, or jails when they think about ghost sightings, but some of the most unsuspecting of places can turn out to be the most haunted. This footage was taken in a popular food joint during broad daylight. A shadowy ghost suddenly materializes in a subway restaurant. It starts out in the shape of a human and almost appears to be getting a table. When it gets back to its seat, the black shadow suddenly changes into a floating black blob of an orb. At this point, an employee or maybe a customer appears to see the ghost in the doorway. Whoever they are, they look stunned for a second and then quickly back away. The shadow orb pays no attention to the human as it floats up to the window and lingers there. It's almost as if it's taking a look at the outside world. The ghost starts to rise even higher and shrinks until it fully disappears back to wherever it came from. Number 8. The Ghost Stadium Ghosts don't have to wait until nighttime before they can begin to haunt. As this Brazilian soccer footage shows, the crowd is happily cheering on their favorite team when suddenly a shadow ghost starts sprinting through all of them. Look closely and you'll notice how nobody tries to move out of the way. Even though a person is clearly running full speed at them, not a single person tries to pull their legs in or even bothers to look up. They are so concentrated on the game that they do not see, feel, or hear the ghost as it runs directly through the half-filled stadium in a straight line. Number 7. Fridge Ghost a YouTuber named No Ghost Hunter grows tired of living in a haunted home and decides to videotape the disturbances for evidence. It's a little past midnight when he hears scratching noises, which soon progresses into running footsteps and loud bangs. These noises appear to be coming from all different areas of the home at once. The next day, his HDTV literally begins rocking violently from side to side all by itself. The rocking motion picks up speed until the corners of the TV are almost hitting the entertainment center and it looks like the base is going to break. Then, and the TV starts rocking back and forth the other way. There is nobody behind the television and there's no way they could have been using strings to do this. The day after, No Ghost Hunter finds a short video on his phone that he is 100% sure he did not make. The video is shot from the ground level of his kitchen. When you look at the reflection in the oven, you can see that nobody is holding the phone. The phone is literally floating in midair. Additional footage shows the TV shaking by itself again. This time, No Ghost Hunter is able to film behind the television to show that this is not a prank at all. He waves his hand above the television to show that there's no wires, and he even films underneath the base to show that there is no rod coming out from the entertainment center or anything like that. The lights cut out multiple times while he films. A few days later, he captures his refrigerator door slamming open and closed again and again. The brazen poltergeist leaves the door open to make sure its presence is fully known. Number 6. Watch from Above A group of British friends are playing catch in a courtyard. When one of them sees something strange and points it out to the others, the camera follows his gaze and stops on a pale face looking at them from high above. The sickly person looks at them for a second longer before silently slipping out of view. The group is now creeped out and wants to know who has been spying on them this whole time. They tell the property manager about the face they saw in the window, but she says that it's impossible. The room they are talking about has been locked and unoccupied for quite some time. The manager goes up with them to unlock the door and show them around. They try and find the person, but the place is completely empty. There's no way anyone could have been up there, yet the camera obviously says differently. The mysterious peeper has never been identified. Number 5. Old Pete's Ghost There's a famous pub in Sydney, Australia called the Carlisle Castle Hotel. For years, this local watering hole has been haunted by the ghost of Old Pete a bitter ex-employee who left the earth quite some time ago, but not his job. His ghostly antics have been caught on camera no less than three times. The first time Pete was caught on tape, he was helping a customer. 
The unsuspecting man opens the door to the cooler when Pete decides to grab two bottles of red wine for himself. His ghost grip must have not been too tight though because both bottles go crashing to the floor. Looking at the footage, there's no way that the shelf gave out or anything like that. The bottles were thrown to the ground with deliberate force with no one nearby. Another incident occurred when the bar was full of witnesses. Everyone is happily enjoying themselves when a hanging red wine glass suddenly dislodges itself and smashes into the counter. Glass shards fly everywhere and the entire bar takes notice. Although this could have simply been a freak accident, what are the chances that, of all the red wine glasses, the one that's directly underneath the server happens to be the one to fall and break? The timing is almost too perfect to be a coincidence. Old Pete strikes again. The third and final tape reveals a glimpse of old Pete himself. The bar is empty this time when the angry ghost suddenly materializes in front of the security camera. If you look closely, you can make out old Pete's head at the bottom of the screen. He appears to be waving. Many other bartenders and customers all claim to have seen old Pete for themselves in one way or another. It isn't uncommon for tapes to turn on by themselves, and the bartenders have seen what they can only describe as strange things while counting down their registers after close. To make this all even stranger, all of the bottles that go crashing to the floor are always high-end red wines. This just so happened to be Old Pete's favorite drink, at least when he was still with the living. Number 4. The Church Disturbance Steve and Jake are wandering around the woods one summer night with a single goal in mind. They want to explore an abandoned local chapel that's rumored to be haunted. As they approach, they see that someone has written prayers and warnings all over the outside wall. The two friends instantly get a bad feeling about this adventure, but they swallow their fear and decide to press on. The rickety main door is locked, so they sneak around back. Already, they don't want to be here much longer. They had explored an old clock tower earlier in the day and were greatly disappointed by a lack of parents paranormal activity, but they could tell this church is way different. The place looked and felt quite haunted. They go up some wooden steps and enter through the back door. They shine their flashlights deep into the church's main assembly. There's rows and rows of wooden pews ahead of them. They pass by a podium and notice a piano. Then they head deeper inside. Now they find themselves inside of a small maintenance closet. They close the door behind them because they don't want anyone sneaking up on them. It feels like anyone could be watching them right now. They see a ladder to the left. Steve is about to climb it, until Jake jokes that a body is going to fall down on him if he does, so he decides not to. That's when the piano starts to play from outside. Oh man. Oh my god. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. It's a soft and haunting piano melody that fills the church. Steve and Jake shut off their flashlights and keep recording. They debate whether or not they should go outside or stay here, where it's semi-safe. They realize that they can't spend the entire night trapped in the broom closet of a haunted church. So they turn their flashlights back on to see who is playing. Sitting at the piano at the far end of the room is a black hunched over phantom. They scream and shut the door. Jake cries for a bit, then they run away through the back exit. The music stops as soon as they leave the church. They were hoping that the music stopped because it was over, but in reality, it was because the ghost had gotten up from the piano to chase them. They run a good distance before pausing to look back into the dark scenery. It seems like they've gotten away, but then the ghost finds them and they run away screaming. The camera cuts off as they fall back deeper into the woods. At least one of them survived and uploaded this video onto YouTube, where it's remained for the past 10 years. Number 3. The Teleporter Two girls are alone in their house when one of them sees something in the doorway. Pause the video and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old-fashioned clothes from another time period. She is floating in mid-air as she curiously peeks in on the two children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl with the camera follows the ghost as it retreats. The ghost instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even louder and take off again. Number 2. Stay Out of the Attic Back in 2008, a man started to notice some strange activities around his house. He would often come home from work to find his dogs cowering under the bed, too afraid to come out. One of his dogs would only come out from under the bed for a brief 10 seconds at most before going straight back into hiding. Something was intimidating these large dogs badly. The owner starts to hear banging noises coming from all over his house. 
He begins to look around. He eventually traces the noise to his attic and goes upstairs with a camera for a closer look. Everything is completely trashed. Boxes are overturned and clothing is scattered everywhere. Something has violently flung all of his personal possessions all around. As soon as he goes back downstairs, he hears another huge bang and runs right back up the steps. He puts the camera down and searches the empty attic for clues. A nearby metal bucket falls over and he runs out of the room before he gets hurt. Another object hits the ground on its own and the camera moves to the right on its own too. The homeowner was too scared to look at the footage. He waited a week before going back upstairs to get his camera. By now, he is understandably quite paranoid. He begins recording everything he does in his home, and it isn't long before he has more paranormal evidence. One day, his radio turns to static and a spirit orb rushes out the window. Later, someone violently jiggles the doorknob to the door that leads to the attic. The door opens and shuts by itself. The radio goes back to normal soon after. Things look to be going back to normal for a second, but then a paper towel roll suddenly flies up from the table to the couch, and the radio starts making more sounds again. The video recording starts to get fuzzy too, as if a ghost is causing electrical disturbances by passing by. Both of his dogs begin to look in the same spot as if they are following something. Whatever it was, the man was never able to physically catch it on film. He was only able to record its strange and oftentimes violent behaviors. Ghoul school. This footage comes from somewhere in the Middle East. A group of teenagers are curiously exploring an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again as they make their way down a long hallway. They open a door and find graffiti on the wall. Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Zobin Jaguar translated their comments. He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. They enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly, a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards them. The ghost is missing his head, but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them, but this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, which explains why they calmly continue to keep exploring. They wouldn't see the apparition until much later, but when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. Thanks for checking out this video.